Adobe Firefly's AI art text is actually pretty powerful but very easy to use. All you need to do is head down to text effects and you can actually pick a template to start with. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get straight in. We're gonna type in some text here. I'm gonna say creativity and I'm gonna type in a prompt. Rainbow dripping paint colors. And now I'm gonna hit generate. And straight away we've got some text here and we've got some options. We can cycle through, see what each one looks like. And I like this one the best. But there's actually a few options we can use. So over here on the right we have our options. You can change the background color. I can make the background color black or green or orange or whatever I want to. But I actually want to leave it transparent because if I leave it transparent, I can download a transparent PNG to use on some of my projects. And it also makes it a bit edit easier to edit and bring letters closer together if I want to. And if I go, I'm going to go back up to the top, we've got some sample prompts, which we'll try later. But uh, we've also got text effects fit. So you can see if it's loose, medium or tight, I'll go back down to tight. As you can see the, the effects are very tight to the text. I go to medium, they loosen up a little bit more. I go to loose and it's pretty all over the place, which I think is actually really cool. But scrolling down is maybe I don't like the font I'm using. I, there's six fonts here. If I click view all, I've actually got, so 12 fonts I can choose from. So I can basically cycle through and see which ones I like the best. I can try Source Sans 3, Cooper, which actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. Warnock, it's pretty out there, but we do still have our four options to choose from. So I can click this one and see how it looks. Pretty cool. I'm gonna stick with Source Sans 3. I think I'll run with something like this. And I think that looks pretty out there and pretty cool. So I head back with my font and now so I've chosen my font, my fit, and I'm pretty much good to go. But why will we stop there? I'm gonna actually download this as a PNG. And the resolution of our PNG file is 3,428 pixels wide by 1024 pixels tall. So it's actually a pretty decent sized image. If you zoom in a little bit, you can check out some of the details and it's done a pretty good job with it. But cycling back, we're gonna try a few other uh, variations on this. One thing I'm going to type in is I'm going to actually work this into a video thumbnail. So I'm going to say text effects. I'm going to try something else. I can try wrapped in aluminium generate and you get some pretty nifty looking stuff here. So actually we'll try this one. It looks pretty nifty, but I'll bring it back down to medium. I think that one looks pretty good. So I'm going to download that as well. And you can basically throw whatever you want at it. So you can basically you can come up with something like you've got rocks from Mars wearing nice clothing, which uh, hasn't actually added clothing, but does kind of have a pretty nifty effect. An iridescent mirror reflection, another pretty cool effect. Because this printed newspaper effect, half tone, which I think looks pretty nifty. A few solid variations. So you can really just try a whole bunch of things. And what it actually sends, seems to do is create one render for each letter. So you can see that the Fs are both the same here. We can go through and there are some sample prompts you can try, such as if you want to sort of get some ideas, you can try driftwood, which has a pretty cool effect. Lava. Decay. Decay looks pretty cool. I'm going to save some of these. Head over to Photoshop where I've got a blank template for a video thumbnail. I can literally place these in since they're transparent PNGs. I'm just going to stick with the words text effects. So I'll try the colorful one. That's not bad. I'll try something different. That one looks pretty cool. I am going to actually just mask the word effects and get a different line for text. I think that looks pretty cool. I mask the word text. Keep in mind, this has a little Adobe Firefly emblem on it because these, this is not for commercial use, uh, but I'm gonna remove it for the sake of the video because I'm promoting the tool made to use this. So just remember these, you can't use this for commercial use at this stage. So I've got these two here, I can resize. And I've just grouped them. I'll add a bit, a bit of a drop shadow. Add with Adobe Firefly. And what I'm now gonna do is actually just create a letter, some kind of like a letter A or something just to pop off to the right to help kind of like set this whole scene. I've typed the letter A into Firefly. So we'll find something colorful, orange. It's a pretty nifty effect. We've got sushi. Once again, I have a few different options. I think we'll stick with this one. So I'll download that. I'm gonna paste this into the background of the video. And then just to finish it off, I will pop a background onto the video itself, just subtle to sort of give it a bit of a lift. 
I've got another image I used with the Adobe Firefly image generator. I'm just gonna kinda expand that out over here, pop it in the background. And I've pretty much got, to add a color to this border, I've pretty much got something I can use on YouTube. So now we've got this YouTube thumbnail, I've actually been able to download these text effects as transparent PNGs and paste them straight in my design. The cutout is, is good, I would say it's not great, but I imagine with time that would improve and depending on what background you put it on. But overall, a pretty nifty effect and some, a very cool tool for creating something different. There's nothing else really like this in regards to AI art yet when it comes to text, so check out Adobe Firefly and see what text effects you can come up with. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider giving it a like. Uh, otherwise, have a great day, and I hope to see you again soon.